Let's just shift uh, to gas because uh, you, as you focused, uh, it's a very important issue. Uh, Europe is uh, trying to rid itself uh, uh, of uh, Russian uh, fossil gas. And uh, as you said before, uh, uh, in mid-July, uh, you met in Baku, European Commission President Ursula von der, von der Leyen. You signed an agreement to double uh, the Azeri export to Europe if they got the investments uh, from 10 cubic, uh, billion cubic meters to, to 20 by 2027, I yeah. guess. But I was just wondering, Mr. President, that this is a very important, a huge step but comparing to Russian export to Europe that was in 2021 155 billion cubic meters is just a small quantity. Is Azerbaijan uh, under your presidency studying any other project that could uh, uh, increase this supply, maybe through other pipelines, through other parts of Europe. I was just valuing because this is a, a, a very big need. Yes, I understand the point and actually we are now evaluating the new options and new plans with respect to investment. But uh, the situation which you are referring is very new. Therefore, uh, no one was prepared for that. And all our energy projects, including and natural gas transportation were based on the existing contracts. We signed the contracts with uh, European companies which uh, purchased our gas many years ago and then we invested in pipelines and when we started to supply gas to Europe only a year and a half ago, only very, uh, what do you say, first day of uh, 2021 we started to supply gas to Italy. Therefore, our previous plans are fully implemented. And uh, now what uh, you are referring to our meeting with Madame Ursula von der Leyen, uh, and we discussed how to increase in the short term the production. To double the uh, export to Europe is uh, a big deal. It's not a small thing. We need investments. We need to uh, expand the capacity because uh, our pipeline, which brings our gas to Europe, has a capacity of 10 billion cubic meters, uh, top. So we need to expand it up to 20. It needs money, it needs agreement between the shareholders, and all that is a process. Uh, with respect to the reserves we have, I spoke at the conference, uh, minimum proven reserves are 2.6 trillion cubic meters of gas. So potentially, we can increase um, the supply to Europe even more than 20 billion cubic meters. But also, uh, we should understand that Europe is not only our only destination. We supply Turkey with uh, the same figure than Italy, about 10 billion cubic meters. And demand in Turkish market also is growing. We supply. Uh, Georgia, though the market is not big, but still. Our total export this year will be about 22, 23 billion cubic meters. But in order to increase, first, a lot of investments must be made in the fields and expansion. Not all the top, we need to expand TANAP from 16 to 32 billion cubic meters. Yes, it will not need a building of new pipeline. We need only to upgrade the compressor uh, stations, but still it's investment. And also one important thing that we never, in the past and even now, we never put in front of us a target to compete with Russian gas on the European market. No, we had our uh, space. We've signed contracts with three European uh, countries, with Italy, Greece and Bulgaria. There are demands from other European countries and we are evaluating those demands. There are uh, projects, as you uh, mentioned in your question, to have uh, other extensions, like Ionic Adriatic Pipeline, which can go to Balkans, uh, Greece-Bulgaria Interconnector, which soon will be inaugurational, other interconnectors. But all this is a kind of a puzzle on the table. We need to have active negotiations with potential consumers, to agree with shareholders about investments 
in production, in distribution, and also to negotiate the price. So a lot of issues in front of us.